What is up guys? Blim here. We are back with more showdown live action and today we have the first BDSP team building guide. Yep, being an OU player myself, maining OU for quite a while now, the 90 GX, having a GX over 90 and yep, those of you who have follow me, those of you know me, those of you who watch my channel, they know like, yeah, they know my skill in OU. So basically I kind of know like all the new guys out there or even once the players who are seeking to be good in that year those who are planning to play spl and those who are planning to play like top ou tournaments like world cup spl scl and stuff yeah so sso not ssou ou is considered the main tier of smogon and currently though ssou is the main tier of smogon but bdsp ou is gonna take over ssou pretty soon this is why i've decided to make the first team building guide for bdsp ou itself and what's different in my guide is that i kind of know what people look what people do not look in a team building guide so i will just skip the bullshit part no detail no nothing because i myself if i were to look at a team building video i would get really annoyed with all the bullshit people say like yeah this one does that this does like guard chomp guard chomp source dances guard chomp goes for the earthquake like we won't get to all this bullshit because we being ou players like all of you guys being OU players, you guys know like what Amon does, you guys know. So basically I'm gonna be doing a small guide, a small narrow guide which will help you out a lot. Trust me, this guide will help you out a lot. So before we begin, Blim special team building guide for BDSP. Guys, we are on the road to 5k. So if you're enjoying my content, which is a no bullshit content, all genuine stuff, all genuine high letter, mainly focusing on the official trade of Smogon, which is OU, OU game. So Go to my channel and hit that sub button. Feel free to leave a like on the video as well, only if you enjoy the video. So today we are gonna be starting team building. I won't build the teams today. I won't be starting team building, but today is gonna be a guide about team building. Like what is BDSP OU? Because we'll be focusing on OU mostly. What is BDSP OU? What to expect, what not to expect, what things to keep in mind while building, and what to do to make to build a proper team to build a standard team i won't say that if you follow this guide you will build the perfect team which will be like unbeatable not kind of stuff so as i said i will not speak any bullshit no trash no blah 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 no garcham will sd toga case will nasty plots carmody will set up hazards no because you guys know basically i won't if i were looking at some team building guide i just would, would skip that part so i will make it i will make this part easy for you we will not speak any bullshit okay just get down to the chase main business stuff move on goddamn end video end got team building guide done yeah it this video won't be long trust me so first let's have a quick look at the bdsp tier currently let's have a quick look let me open the bdsp tier currently and let me have a quick look at the mons right here so as you can see like all the mons till gen 4 have been released in bdsp so yeah this is bullshit i won't speak about what mons released and so let's have a quick look at that here as you can see there are some good mons like if i'm scrolling right now so dragonite is a really good mon and there are some trash mons which no one will ever use like for it for it no one is gonna ever use for it maybe i will use in some life but yes there are some good mons there are some shit mons there is gyarados which is a really good mon and there is uh illumis hypno all these are trash mons no one will ever use so looking at that here this, those currently the tier is a mix of all mons because the ou tier hasn't been finalized yet so all mons whatever all full evolved mons are in the tier right now till it gets narrowed down so i will cut the chase i will cut the chase and come into the main part like after all these mons all these useless mons like chimeco chat out cast from all these mons get narrowed down after all these mons get narrowed down we will have a we will have the first image of the bdsp ou tier and i'm going to show you firstly how the tier is going to look like after everything gets narrowed down all the sheets get thrown away in the drain yeah all the sheets are flushed away let me have a i will show you a quick look what the tier is going to look like so these two the first box one and box two this will be this shall be or this might be a finalized image of the tier after the tier settle down settles down yeah the bdsp ou tier so we have alakazam which is a really good ou one currently with magic guard and with having access to nasty plot which it didn't have earlier kind with access to nasty plot yeah alakazam is gonna be an absolute beast in that bdsp ou tier then we have huge for azu we all know what azu does then we have azelf azelf also has access to nasty plot now azelf can be a really good breaker and also it can be a really good hazard setter i won't get to that part then we have Blizzikin. Yep, we all know what Blizzikin does. We have had Blissey. We have Breloom, which is finally released in BDSP. Technician Breloom, or even Poison, is such a good ability. So we have Breloom. Charizard, this might be in UU, but given like 
the lack of breakers in the tier i think that there is not a single switch into charizard charizard sun right now yeah not a single switch into charizard sun right now yeah blissey gets tweet cured in sun so i think given the few months and given the lack of consistency of proper breakers in the game i think charizard is gonna be ou also bronze song was a very hefty pick but i think bronze song is gonna be ou because it is one of the few months which can check like a lot of months in that year bronze song is a really good check for nido king alakazam like bronze song can also check blissey can yeah, hit to bronze song with earthquake can send blissey can packing azel like yeah clef gengar then uh guard chomp uh the lati twins yeah i think bronze on can be ou then clef we all know what where clef is gonna land yeah clef is gonna be my prediction is not if not s rank but a rank for sure a plus for sure clef is gonna land in a plus or a rank for sure in ssou oh cloister the most annoying one one though king's rock has been pre-banned but yeah i think cloister is gonna be ou crowd on adaptability knock off crab hammer yeah it's gonna be ou for sure d knight of course it's gonna be ou come on it's a d knight after all now it has access to multi-scale which it didn't get back in gen 4 yeah of course and empoleon the one of the best ones currently i think empoleon is currently one of the best ones in bds for you empoleon is definitely gonna be ou oh guard chomp i won't speak anything about you you are the ou prime gengar also let's cut the chest gengar is gonna be ou my boy my boy gliscord oh my god this is what bdsp is the whole tier is centralizing around this one yeah why bdsp other name is gliscord so yeah bdsp ou another name for glass like the other gens ou ss ou sword and shield ou sun moon ou they, the ou name is lando and here the ou name is gliscord gyarados this pick was very like i was like i had a 50 50 pick on gyarados but i think given dd given like moxie gyarados now gets moxie yeah do you get power whip let's just have a small look do you get power whip i think power whip hasn't was power whip released in bdsp let's have a look but still yeah it doesn't get power but it has access to dragon dance it has access to i think waterfall yeah liquidation isn't released so dragon dance waterfall yeah it's just earthquake it has oh bounce is not there so dragon dance waterfall earthquake crunch and yeah ice fang i think yeah ice fang yeah i think i'm i'm not sure about this one but i think this might be ou but let's uh heat ran i won't even get get to the chase heat ran oh my god i hope this one gets banned from ou but regardless heat is a really good one hip power down of course it's gonna be ou infernape my second boy infernape yeah, infernape is gonna be ou because infernape is one of the best ones currently in the tier jirachi uh i am leaning i am i have 50 50 pick towards jirachi as well but given jirachi it is one of the most annoying ones in the tier but i was looking at one thing and yeah jirachi doesn't get iron head jirachi doesn't get iron head now so i think this mine let's remove this one i think this mine one might drop to uu Let's remove Jirachi. I don't think Jirachi is gonna be in OU because he doesn't have Iron Head now. Yeah, Kingdra. Of course, Kingdra is gonna be OU. I can bet. I can bet. I can bet anything. Kingdra is gonna be OU after the tier settle downs. Yeah, provided. Yeah, there is a lot of rain usage. Kingdra is gonna be OU and the Lati twins. Of course, Lati twins are gonna be OU. Then my boy Mammy, Mammy. Yeah, Mammy. I think Mammy is definitely gonna be OU. Mammy should be OU. Yeah, because not not a single one in the tier resist uh, ground ice typing except my boy zong with levitate yeah everything gets destroyed by ground ice oh look at all the mons here everything gets destroyed by ice ground except my boy mammy and my boy rotom which were coming manafi manafi might get banned to ubers because manafi is a powerhouse now tail glow rest with rain support oh my god manafi just can't be stopped manafi yeah manafi might get banned to ubers but i'm not sure nido king nido king yeah of course my nido king boy is gonna be ou as of now it's gonna be ou and it's gonna stay in ou for quite a while now Nido King is gonna stay at OU. Pelipper, yeah, Manafi, Pelipper, yeah. As long as Manafi is there, Pelipper, I think is gonna be in OU. Rotom Wash, yep. Rotom Wash is gonna be OU. Moximens, yep. Moximens is gonna be OU. Caesar, Scam, Slow Bro, yep. All these three mons are gonna be OU. Caesar, of course, is gonna be OU. Skarmory, yep. It's gonna be OU. And Slow Bro, why Slow Bro? Because it is one of the main checks for Gliscord, yeah. Because without Slow Bro, Gliscord can be a big pain to deal with. Not a lot of mons can check Gliscord. Like I have seen Rotom Wash get stalled out by Gliscord. Today only I, I saw Rotom Wash. Eight Hydro Bombs got stalled out by Gliscord. So yeah, pretty sure Slowbro is gonna stay OU. Togekiss, yep. Togekiss is one of the best anti-stall monsters. Togekiss is gonna stay in OU. And unlike Jirachi, Togekiss has access to Air Slash. So Togekiss is gonna stay in OU. Torkoal, uh, not sure. Torkoal might drop to UU or RU. But as of now, let's keep Torkoal OU because it is one of the best Sunsetters. Yeah. Titar, yep. Titar, the face of OU. Titar is of course gonna be staying in OU. Titar will always stay in OU. 
and sword sword is also a pig like if torkoal is there sword is there if sword is there torkoal is there so these two are like a chain reaction if torkoal drops venus sword is also gonna drop so i am not sure but yeah, as of now it's ou weavile though weavile doesn't have access to knock off anymore but weavile is gonna be ou and of course zapdos my boy zapdos is always ou so zapdos is gonna be ou yep because it has access to though zapdos doesn't get hurricane and heatwave but still zapdos has defog zapdos has static zapdos has volt switch discharge and stuff yeah so zapdos is gonna stay ou yep so this so this is gonna be uh, this is a standard image of the bdsp ou tier when the tier finalizes you can see an image like this the bds will you tier you can see an image like this maybe one or two months removed as i said yeah maybe gyarados will drop and uh, like maybe even bronze dog might drop yeah gyarados bronze dog charizard all these three months might drop and from here i think like uh torkoal and venus or these two might drop but yeah this is an image of the bdsp ou tier also one more mon i want to add but i'm not sure this one might be there or might not be there uh i'm not sure like uh where is that mon where is that mon where is that mon uh yeah i think star me might be ou so let's keep star me i'm not i think star me might be uu right do you have yeah you have natural cure you have you have recovered you have rapid spin you have scald oh you have scald yeah also start scarmony might be you start uh, starmy might be ou i'm not sure but let's keep starmy ou as of now starmy might be ou so yeah this is a final image of the bdsp ou tier which is gonna be happening soon yeah the third is gonna be finalized soon and i think this is a image of the bdsp ou tier okay now first thing what to do when you start a game what does everyone do when they start a game you set up your entry hazards right so these are the i have narrowed up the mods which are the entry hazard currently the entry hazard setters in the bdsp ou tier and yep there are like entry hazard setters can be a lot of types one is the for the offensive teams for the ho teams there is a suicide suicide entry hazard and there is the entry hazards for balance and stall teams like which will which will keep setting hazards and switch out yeah mostly tanks and bulky mods and there is the entry hazard setters for stall teams so yep this is an image of the this is an image of all these mons are gonna be the entry hazard status for bdsp ou tier starting with my boy arrow arrow the actual is i think it is one of the best entry hazard status for the ho teams and the offensive teams yep you can see a lot of arrows in offensive and ho teams because it has access to taunt and stealth rocks taunt stealth rocks double edge stone edge and stuff yeah arrow is gonna be one of the primary entry hazard setters for the offensive ho team so so you have an option as arrow bronze zone is a stealth rock setter bronze zone will set up hazards it can be mainly uh, primarily found on balance and stall teams yep bronze zone blissy yep this will be on stall and bulky offensive teams entry hazard setter and one more option for ho is azel azel has access to nasty plot stealth rock taunt uh explosion fire blast thunderbolt anything yeah so azel aerodactyl and and also mew these three mons are gonna be uh the best the best entry has a status for ho teams yeah so like same same for muton stealth rock explosion and flamethrower or t-bolt or psychic even earthquake ice beam yep will of wisp yeah i think aerodactyl azel and mew are gonna be the main entry has a status for ho and offensive team so for ho offensive for ho teams and offensive teams when you see aerodactyl azelf and mu you are going to be sure that these are the lead ones these are the lead ones so yep you can like anticipate the lead and you can make your counter lead accordingly then we have clef 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 will be one of the entry hazard setters for fat teams and stall teams as well you have dawn fan you have dawn fan you have dawn fan also fat teams offensive uh, i mean fat teams stallish teams guard chomp guard chomp can be an entry hazard setters for ho teams as well because they are the life of mixed chomp fire blast draco meteor earthquake it will stealth rocks yeah it will be setting up hazards on ho teams but yeah you can find the tank chomp on balanced and stallish teams as well so yeah guard chomp will be a mixed hazard setter fortress fortress can be has custap barely been released let's have a quick check custap oh there is custap barely so yeah so you can find fortress on ho teams as well and but fortress will be mainly on offensive team and balance team as a hazard set and fortress has access to whole family of hazards it has stealth rocks it has spikes it has t spikes as well so yep you will find fortress in 
every type of team if you want a good option for hazards and spinner as well then my boy gliscor gliscor yeah gliscor you won't find a lot of gliscor in ho teams but yeah gliscor you will find gliscor in 90 percent of balanced teams and on 90 percent of stall teams because it is one of the best entry hazard setter stale rock setter in the game currently heat ran same heat ran you will find on balanced teams as a rock setter hip hard on you will find mostly on balance and stall teams jirachi jirachi do you have access to rocks i haven't checked but i think jirachi should have stealth rocks right yeah jirachi has stealth rocks so yeah, you can find Jirachi on mostly balanced teams and stall teams as well. Mamoswine is one of the few entry hazard setter on HO teams, but I want to check something. It doesn't have access to Endeavor, but regardless, regardless, Focus Shash, Earthquake, uh, Earthquake, Aishar, Icicle Crash, Mamoswine, it will set up entry hazards on a lot of teams. Yeah. It will set up entry hazards on a lot of teams of Mamoswine, one of, one of, yeah, the, mostly Mamoswine you will find HO and offensive teams. Yep. Then Metagross, Metagross, yeah, you might find Metagross on, Metagross is a really good option on offensive teams as well on HO teams also because Metagross can set up rocks and it can boom. But yeah, you can find Metagross on offensive teams and on balanced teams as well. Nido King, Nido King, yeah, you will find Nido King on, mostly, you won't find Nido King on stall teams, but yeah. You will find Nido King on offensive teams and balanced teams and Nido King is a very good rock option as well because Nido King forces in a lot of switches so Nido King will set up hazards on most most yeah you can run a rocks Nido King and it's a solid option then we have Nido Queen as well Nido Queen you will find it's a very good rocks and T spike setter toxic spike setter on balanced teams and stall teams as well yeah, people run Nido King on stall teams the the poison point Nido King yep Rhyperior again a very good entry hazard setter for balance and stall teams shuckle shuckle you will find mostly on ho teams shuckle yeah one of the i uh, not one if i it is it ties with i think aero as and stuff as one of the the best entry hazard setter in the game right now with access to sticky webs one of the few sticky web user shuckle sticky web rocks you name it and do you get gambit let's have a quick check yeah oh my god yeah shuckle is gonna be on most ho teams yeah final gambit it is final gambit so rocks sticky web final gambit boom you are set for your you're set with ho skarmory yep skarmory you will find skarmory on every team on every entry other option skarmory you can i mean not every time i mean you can expect in all varieties by every team i mean all varieties you can expect skarmory on stall teams skarmory is a stall staple balance teams yep most valentines you will find a scar spike mainly spike, not rock setter but a spike setter and on ho teams also custap skarmory with brave bird yep it's a very good option then steelix you won't find a lot of steelix but yeah steelix is a really good option yeah steelix is a very good physical wall and yeah you can find rock steelix stealth rock steelix on most fat teams smear girl ho option i think smear girl and shuckle the only two sticky webs setter in the game right now so smear girl and shuckle ho team smear girl spore sticky web stealth rocks memento explosion whatever blah 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 stab explosion it will do a chunk i'm not gonna it will do a chunk yeah but Sticky web, Stealth Rocks, Memento, even Taunt, even Nuzzle. I have seen a lot of Smeargle sets. Yeah, so Smeargle, HO stable. Yeah. Then Swampert. Swampert you will find on most balanced teams. Yeah, Swamp Swampert Rocks equals balance. Yeah. You won't find a lot of Swampert on stall teams, but yeah. Most balanced teams you will find a Rock Swampert and Thetar. Theta stall teams or balanced teams you will find Rocks Thetar. Mostly, mostly, mostly uh, I mean mostly for balanced teams you will find Thetar. But on a few stall teams also, like Theta is one of the heat run checks as well. So yeah, you might find Stealth Rocks Theta. So this is an image of the hazard setters in BDSPOU currently. So narrowing it, narrowing it down, narrowing it down for on HO teams, you will find Aero, Azelf, Mew, Fortress, Mamo, Shuckle, Skarm and Smeargle. This month you will find on HO teams and all the remaining you will either find on balance teams or stall teams. Okay. So first step one. Step one, whenever you click a battle, whenever you get a game, you try to set up entry hazard. So you have all these ones which are entry hazard options. So yep, as I said, I won't be talking bullshit every time, every whatever I speak, I will just cut to the chase. So these are your entry hazard options. I won't say like I won't keep saying like, yeah, you are gonna set up rocks, don't fan can spin, don't fan can, all this stuff, I won't say. So yeah, just cut to the chase. Now, I know. So when you set up hazards, now opponent is gonna set up hazards on you as well. Now what do you need? You need hazard removal. So now I'm gonna be speaking about hazard removal. Because no one wants their field. Yeah, 
full of hazards i don't definitely i don't want my field full of hazards i don't want spikes and rocks so i always need removal so here are your defog or rapid spin options which i have narrowed down in this box we have crobat we have crobat crobat uh it's not the most reliable defogger but yeah still it does the job d9 d9 is a very good heat run check it can defog on heat trans phase and it can defog on heat trans phase it can defog on skarmory it, it might threaten skarm with flamethrower and stuff yeah d9 empoleon is my favorite defogger right now empoleon defogs on a lot and lot of mons latias latios heat trans fortress skarmory empoleon defogs on all of them because the best part is it can't get poisoned yeah flygon flygon you won't find a lot of defog flyguns but yeah flygon is a good option my boy gliscord my boy gliscord is a hazard setter as well and it's a very good defogger as well you will find defog gliscord on mostly balance and stall teams latias latias latios and us there are they are really good defogger options but only on balance teams you won't find latios on stall teams but yeah latios you might find a few latias on stall teams but they won't be defog lati they will be like a late game setup lati so yeah these two are really good defog options on mostly balanced teams and then we have my boy mew my boy mew can defog on it it's an option for every team on offensive teams on stall teams and on balanced teams as well my boy pelipper pelipper is the primary defogger for rain teams only exclusively for rain teams you won't find pelipper in balance or stall teams so yeah pelipper is the main defogger for rain skarmory yep for every team you will find i mean it's a good option for a defogger tojakes Tojakis people do not run defog Tojakis, but I have run defog Tojakis. It's a really good defogger. Trust me, it's one of the best check to chomp. It's one of the best chomp check. So yeah, you might yeah you can use Tojakis for. Do you get access to heal well? Does my boy has access to heal well? I think heal well isn't released in this gen. So but Tojakis is a really good defogger. Tojakis, you can try Tojakis for defogging. Then my boy Zartu, Zartu is one of the best anti-hazard mon. Yeah, max HP, max defense. Zartu, one of the best anti-hazard mon. And then we have Zapdos. I have seen a lot of Zapdos in running in and defogging. Yeah, Zapdos is a really good option for defogger, exclusively or especially on stall and balance teams. My boy Claydol, Claydol is a very good rapid spinner, very good rapid spinner. But yeah, Claydol can be found in a few balance teams and a few stall teams. Claydol is not the best option because of his typing. Yeah. It can get toxic. It can like you're gonna set up hazard with your scarm, right? Scarm will toxic and keep setting up spikes on you. If Empoleon has rocks, so Empoleon will also can scold you and threaten you out. Dawn fan can toxic you. Yeah. So, but it's a really good option versus Aerodactyl and versus like HO leads versus Azel. You can keep spinning. You can keep spinning and stuff. Yeah. Then we have Blastoise. Is a really good spinner for most balance teams and stall teams. Dawn fan really good spinner for balance team. Fortress Fortress is a really really good spinner and an amazing spinner for balance and most all teams. You might find Fortress on mostly stall teams as a very good spinner. Then Starmie Starmie is a really good option for balance and stall teams as a spinner. Tentacruel is a really good spinner for balance and stall teams and Torkoal as I said like Pelipper is the main defogger for rain teams. Torkoal is the main spinner for sun teams. Yep. So sun Torkoal is a really good option and you can also try running Torkoal in stall teams as well. Torkoal is a really good physical wall. Access to rapid spin, rocks, yawn, rest, and stuff. Yeah, Torkoal is a really good option to rapid spin. So these are your entry hazard removal mons narrowed down. All these mons might either rapid spin or defog, and your field is free from hazards. Yep. And now let's move on to the tier itself. So now currently the BDSP BD, BDSP OU tier is currently revolving around rain, and when we talk rain we need firstly the rain setters currently we have two rain setters in the game one is pelipper and one and the other is toad and we all know the superior rain setter here of course it's pelipper because not just rain pelipper has access to those u-turns you set up rain you u-turn to one of your offensive rain mons and you start throwing hits off so of, of course pelipper is the Primary option for rain because not just U-turn, it has access to roost, it has access to defog as well, so you don't die. But yeah, Polytoad can be a good option because Polytoad has its niche. Polytoad has access to Whirlpool. Do you can have do you have access to Song? Oh boy, yep. Yep. Oh Whirlpool is illegal, so perish song. I think you have Encore, yep. So Polytoad is a good option. Polytoad is a good rain option as well because you can Encore and switch out like sub suppose you lead Polytoad and they lead off with their Skarmory or something. They're setting up their hazards, right? You encode the Skarm and you, then you switch out your Kingdra and, you, and then you start throwing powerful hits. 
so these are the two range setters but i would definitely suggest you to use pelipper but unless you really want to like use encore and like very strong i mean you really want utility then use toad or else use pelipper then the rain god we have the rain god themselves yeah manafi manafi is like running on 100% of the rain teams right now because why not tail glow surf rest ice beam this is all you need tail glow surf rain, tail glow surf rest and ice beam in all this is all you need and you are ready to get on sweeping yep so manafi and kingdra the two rain staples you will you you all know what kingdra does either on specs or on life up with a mix like draco waterfall uh, draco waterfall ice beam and maybe like rain dance or you can even run like what flash cannon and stuff yeah so kingdra manafi kingdra two really good rain options and then you have some other rain options as well like almost a shell smash rain option you have almost star and physical option like kingdra and manafi are special rain options and then you have kabutops as a really good rain option then we have one more physical option like azu and polyrath yeah these are these three are physical options which you can try out like polyrath yeah polyrath do you get close combat now doesn't get close combat so what do you get okay it has belly drum it has belly drum drain punch it has swift swim right yeah so yeah oh, okay these are really nice that you can run like swift swim belly drum drain punch with the citrus berry yeah and you have waterfall yeah, you have waterfall as well you have you don't get punch so uh what do you get belly drum oh you have earthquake yeah so earthquake belly drum drain punch waterfall oh you have poison jab yeah so not bad decent option in rain then we have azu azu is a really good drop rain option yeah azu like choice banded uh, waterfall there is no liquidation now so choice banded waterfall and aqua jet yeah on rain you will tweet chaos calm you will tweet chaos fortress you will destroy star mis and stuff yeah there is no check unless you are running water absorb and stuff or maybe a d knight a fist dev d knight or a fist dev empoleon i think empoleon gets tweet chaos except for fist dev empoleon so yeah banded rain azu has no checks in that here right now and blast twice why blast twice in rain why blast twice in rain because this mod now has access to shell smash shell smash why i'm telling you telling you why shell smash rain dish run i'm telling you run this set leftovers rain dish shell smash water spout yep rocks damage you bring it on a ground type they're gonna switch out your shell smash rocks no problem you have rain dish and leftovers 150 Plus two. Let's say we are running team eight. Two sixty nine. It's nearly around five hundred eighty special attack. Five hundred eighty special attack. Water sport base one fifty power. And if you get chunked, you have rain dish and leftovers. It's gonna be deadly. Trust me, guys. Blast twice in rain is gonna be very deadly. Access to shell smash and mantine. Mantine has access to really nice moves. Mantine has access to uh, hydro pump. You have ice beam. You have air slash and you have swift swim. run choice specs choice specs run this set hydro pump air slash ice beam skull yep choice specs sweep swim all oh, and this is what you need from mantine like water flying is a really nice stab water flying because they are going to bring in their grass types and they are going to get obliterated so by far currently i think like this is the narrowed image of rain and rain is kindly i think this is tied with tied with sand as the best weather in bdsp or if not the best i'm not sure i kind of a liking for sand because sand has its niche but i think that currently it is tied or if i think this is the best weather spam right now in bdsp ou now let's move on to sun sun is my favorite weather of all time but currently i'm leaning towards sand but sun sun has its own advantages like i don't know why but i have a liking for sun just because this monster so colorful and stuff yeah i was liking for fat time on so same as rain setters we have two sun setters as well we have torcola nine tails but again nine tails is an offensive sun option you, if you are using nine tails so you might nasty plot hypnosis and stuff but torcola is a utility sun setter torcola has access to stealth rocks and yawn stealth rocks yawn and stuff rapid spin yeah so over the two i think torcola is the best sun setter option now sun staples like always of course you need a venusaur but one thing about venusaur is venusaur doesn't have access to weather ball now so if you are running venusaur use this set use growth 
Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Earthquake. Yeah. Yep. If you are using Venusaur, use this set because it doesn't have access to Weather Ball now. But still, Earthquake is a really good option. It doesn't have access to Earth Power as well. So, Earth Power is not there. But yeah, on Venusaur, Sun, Venusaur is a staple. And then you have Shift Tree. Shift Tree, trust me, guys, Shift Tree might not seem the best exit because it has, if you are running Shift Tree, in sun use this i was running this moveset and this is really good load of it has access to nasty plot focus blast dark pulse uh i was running i think giga drain yeah i was running this yeah and i was running timid this is a really nasty option it doesn't have a check in the tier it this blitz blissy 1v1 yeah nasty plot into giga drain to focus blast obliterates blissy so yeah, run this has access to nasty plot now. So yeah, shift, shift, shift tree is a really good option with Venusaur or if you are not if you don't want to use Venusaur, use shift tree. Then we have solar power Charizard. My god. Yeah, it will Oko or Twitter, everything in that year. Run Heatran, it's gonna destroy Heatran this specs focus blast. Blaziken is a really good sun option as well because it has access to those st strong staff layer blades. And you can even run blaze kick blaze kick in sun because if you don't want the recoil. Sun Blaze Kick will hit really hard compared with Life Orb and you have Close Combat, you have Thunder Punch, you have Stone Edge, you have a lot of options, Blaziken. Oh my god, then you have Heatran. Choice Specs, you don't have access to Eruption but Magma Storm, Lava Plume, Flame Thor in Sun, it's gonna decimate opponents, decimate. Cook, roast, roast, roast. Yeah. You have Earth Power, amazing option. You have Flame Thrower, you have Flash Cannon and you have Solar Beam. Run this in sun. You are gonna be smashing stall. You are gonna be just smashing stall. Trust me. It has base 130 special attack. No joke. Yeah. Ente, Ente, do you have access to. You have flare. Do you have flare blitz? You don't have flare blitz. But, yep, you have sacred fire. So, sacred fire Ente in sun. I don't even wanna talk. And. Currently, anti doesn't have stomping tantrum, but bulldoze can be an option. You can bulldoze, sacred fire, bulldoze, extreme speed. Yep, extreme speed, of course, and the edge. I pair it up with. There is no boot, so I think choice band. Yep, choice band. Flare blades in sun. It's gonna roast. It's gonna roast. Yep, it has a very high attack stat. A very high attack stat. Yeah, 115 attack stat is no joke. Very high attack stat. So yeah. Then we have by my my boy Nip, not by my my boy Nip. Yep, a really nice sun mon. And one of the few monsters to get eruption sun, my boy Typhlosion. My boy Typhlosion is here. Choice specs. And this is what you're gonna be clicking. Yeah, choice specs eruption in sun. I won't like you are not. Focus blast, flamethrower, solar beam, or if you don't want to run solar beam, you can run extra sensory and stuff. But yeah, I would run just one move. This move. Yeah. Choice spec solar beam, I mean eruption on Typhlosion. This is what you're gonna be running on Sun teams. Then we have two more chlorophyll mons in the form of Tang and Iggy. Tang, yeah, Tang is a really Tang has a really high special attacking stat. So yeah, Tang has a high special attack. Yeah, base 110 special attack, no joke. Give it a life of, give it focus blast. It has one of the few mons which has access to Leap Storm. Focus blast, Leap Storm, maybe ancient power for Zap and like Giga Drain. Oh, sludge bomb screw ancient power sludge bomb and giga drain yep this is all you are gonna be needing and you can also run like this uh growth giga drain earthquake and over sludge bomb uh focus blast yeah this is a really nice set which you can run on tank and then we have eggy eggy also gets chlorophyll and eggy Look at the special attack, 125 special attack. So you can run like, you can run Leaf Storm, uh, Giga Drain, Psychic, Psychic Stab, Iggy gets Psychic Stab, and then uh, you can run like, don't not a lot of options, but I think you have to run like, uh, uh, do you get growth, maybe, Come on. Oh, I know what to run. Yep, run this. 95 attacking stat, not bad. So you yeah, run this. 
if you are if you want to like juice it up and use eggy so these are the sun options which you have two sun shaders i would advise you run use charcoal but yeah these are the sun options you have then we have sand there is no sand rush in bdsp ou but yeah there are some really nice sand options here so firstly the two main sand shaders theta and hip pardon yep and like unlike rain there is a competition between unlike rain there is a there i mean there is no competition between toad and Pelipper, Pelipper is the supreme rain setter. Here also, Torkoal is the supreme sun setter. But here you have to like, if you want an offensive sun setter, go for Titar. If you want a defensive tanky, uh, I mean sand setter, use Hip Powdown. So yeah, there is a competition between Hip Powdown and Titar. If you really, I'm saying, if you if you want if you want an offensive sand setter, use Titar. And if you want uh, like a defensive sand setter, use Hip Powdown. So mainly Hippodon is for utility and Titar is also for utility. Titar has a mixed purpose. Titar is mainly leaning towards the offensive side and Hippodon is leaning towards, the, leaning, leaning towards the defensive side. So you pick what you want. And now are not a lot of like sand options. So the only Mon which has access to Sand Rush, the only Mon is Sand Slash. And but Sand, sand Slash has access to Source Dance, Earthquake, Sand Slash doesn't get knock off. So you have to run like uh, Stone Age and for grass types and X Scissor. So yeah, this is your option for Sand Rush, the only one which gets Sand Rush now. Because there is no other Sand Rush. Except Sand Slash, yep, there is no Sand Rush. You wanna run Sand Shoe, go for <laughs> go for it. If I like Sand Shoe, go for it. But <laughs> I might, <laughs> okay, it's gonna be fun. Okay, screw it. So yeah, we have Sand Slash, we have Whale Chomp and yeah. <laughs> bright powder you saw my live right that live go, uh, kelly potato and kelly if you haven't watched out the, watched that live yet go and watch potato and kelly five girls and the gigalit my garchomp dodged all move in that entire life garchomp was untouchable yeah we have sand bear we have source dance we have earthquake we have stone edge you don't get fire fang so i will run like dragon rush no 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 joking Either run Outrage or run Dragon Claw. But we at the industry, we run Dragon Rush. Yep. So, yeah, Bright Powder, Sand Whale, Chom. And my Gliscord boy also gets Sand Whale. So, Gliscord is a really good option, guys. You know why? Because Source Dance, Acrobatics. Let's give it no item. Or Source Dance, Acrobatics, Earthquake. And for the fourth move, Ice Fang. Yep. Itemless, but like you can run with item. Uh, like if you don't want to run, if you want an item, like there is no flying gem by the way. So you can run like uh, Source Dance, Earthquake, Fire Fang, and maybe uh, there is Knock Off as well. So you can run this in Sandville. Maybe use a Life of Sandville or Source Dance, Earthquake. Ice Fang and Roost. You can try this set as well. Yep. So Gliscord is a really good sand option if you want like something out of the ordinary, not a toxic or toxic of Gliscord. Yeah. And Nido King. Why Nido King in sand? Because you get shear force. You do not take sand chip, and Nido King doesn't have a switch in in that here right now. Nido King destroys everyone. There is no Nido King switch in. There wasn't at any time, but still, yeah. So this is a small image of sand, which is sand right now. But I still I stand by my point. Sand is one of the best weathers right now, because sand might not have sand rush like chlorophyll and swift swim, but sand has its own usage. Sand has its own usage. Now let's move on to the next weather, which is hail. I haven't seen a single hail team in BDSP OU yet, but yeah, there is only one hail setter, which is our Snobama. And I will I will use hell I will use hell that's what for sure but yeah these are your few hell options like frostless he says snow cloak Articuno has snow cloak yeah frostless really good you don't get poltergeist but you get like uh, you get ice beam you get shadow ball you get spikeroos yeah so sh and in hell you can throw blizzards frostless has a decent base 80 special attack not bad you can try like uh, like this uh, you can try brow powder snow cloak with blizzard and maybe like a shadow ball and substitute 
and Thorn. Oh, this is a really good breaker, you know. Yeah, Thorn substitute Shadow Ball Blizzard, really good breaker. So yeah, with Snow Cloak with a hand hail, yeah, this can be a really good breaker. So yeah, same with Articuno, you can use like Roost Blizzard, uh, Roost Blizzard. Oh, Articuno gets Hurricane. Oh, double stab Hurricane in hail, really nice. Roost Blizzard Hurricane, and you can run like a Defog. Yep, you can run this set. Roost, Blizzard, Hurricane, Defog. Really, yeah, nice set. But can we do something for the Steel types? Uh, you know what? We can do something for Steel types. We can do. We can run U-turn. So, yeah. And then we have Rotom. Rotom, Accurate, Blizzard, in Hill. And then we have one more Snow Cloak one, which is Sylveon. Sylveon has a high special attacking stat. So, Blizzard... Yeah, Blunder used Sylveon once, so and that point of time I was a fan of Sylveon. It has Blizzard, Shadow Ball, you can have Yawn, and... Uh, uh, oh, Freeze Dry. Yep, so this is a really good option if you want to try out Sylveon uh, with Snow Cloak and maybe like uh, Leftovers or like uh, same Bright Powder. If you're running Hidden Ability, I mean Cloak Abilities or Veil Abilities, run Bright Powder. Go at it might as well go fully invest commit fully so yeah so these are your four weather options we have rain mainly you will see pelipper manafi and kingdra then we have sun mainly torkoal venusaur typhlosion heat trans charizard and blaziken then you will see sand mainly the sand setter will be there but not a lot of options to follow maybe sand setter with gliscor or a chomp but yeah you won't find a lot of sand slash or a lot of nido kings with sand and then we have very very rare hell so yeah now let's move on to the wall breakers in the tier we know right what are we annoyed by most we are annoyed by stall most so these are the ones which will help you decimate stall decimate stall yeah these are the ones which will help you decimate stall i am not going to be breaking down each one individually but i will tell you like what each one will do just a small roundup how to beat stall choice bandit theta destroyer stall Mixed Nido King. Nido King doesn't get super power this gen, but Focus Punch. Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Focus Punch, T Bolt. Yeah, mix it up. But keep Focus Punch. Keep Focus Punch and Earthquake, and the remaining two move slot, you switch it up. Nido King. Alakazam has access to Nasty Plot, Life Orb, Nasty Plot, Psychic, Recover, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, anything. It's gonna, it's gonna shit on stall. Yeah. Quaxar gets to it cured by Psychic. Blissey, I mean, a Clef gets to it cured by Psychic. Yeah. Because most clips are fish depth, you won't find speed depth clips on stall. Toja case, nasty plot, air slash, serene grace, it will cheat on stall. Azum L, choice band, liquidation, played off. Yep, I mean, waterfall played off, cheat on stall. Blissey can life up, SD, close combat, flare blade, stone edge, yep, stall destroyer. Technician, Breloom spore, SD, bullet punch, mark punch, I mean, what, bullet seed, mark punch, yep, stall. Charizard sun, destroy stall. Crawdont, one of the few dark types which has access to knockoff. Weavile doesn't have knockoff access. But Crawdont has adaptability, knockoff, crab hammer. Crawdont has crab hammer as well. It's going to shit on stall. Dragonite, choice bandit, Dragonite, it will shit on stall. Dragonite, earthquake, outrage, absolutely going to shit on stall. Explode, one of the few options. Most stalls are not running Blissey. So, yep, Explode has access to Boom Burst, Fire Blast. They bring in their steel type. They bring in their, like, uh, they bring in their, like, Empoleon. Or heat ran to wall explode on the boom bust, you go for the focus plus destroy them. Fairly Gutter is a really good stall breaking option. Sheer force, waterfall, yep, it's gonna destroy stall. Guard chomp, SD earthquake, dragon claw, outrage, gonna destroy stall. Na Gengar, Gengar is one of the best stall breaking mods. Nasty plot, taunt, shadow ball, focus blast, or sludge bomb, even sub nasty plot for blisses, for T wave blisses. Sub, <coughs> sub nasty plot, sl uh, shadow ball. Focus Blast, yep, for, or you can even run Sludge Bomb for Clips. Gliscord, really, really good stall breaking mod. SD, Taunt, Earthquake, Facade, Knock Off, uh, Ice Fang, yep. Then you have to sacrifice Roost, but yeah, Taunt, SD, Destroy Stall. Magma Trend, I don't, I don't have to say what Magma Trend does, you guys know. Infernip, really good stall breaking option because it has access to Taunt. It's a, if Banded Infernip has no proper switches in the tier right now. Maybe a D Knight, maybe a Gliscord, but Gliscord gets to it cured by Flare Blitz and Infernave has access to. Do you get Ice Punch? Don't think you get Ice Punch, but still Flare Blitz will to it cure Gliscord. 
because Gliscor runs a lot of speed. Yeah, you don't have Ice Punch, but Choice Bandit Flare Blitz will destroy Gliscor. So yeah. So then we have Latios, Choice Specs. Latios has no switch in, except maybe Blissey. Except maybe Blissey and Heatran gets destroyed by Surf. Maybe a Jirachi. Yeah, so Choice Specs, Latios. Mamoswine, oh my god, Mamoswine is an amazing stall breaker. Metronome, give them, give Mamo, oh, not Metronome, Choice Bandit, Mamoswine. Every time you run a Choice Bandit, Mamoswine, they have to decide. Earthquake or Icicle Crash. They are in a 50 50. Unless they run Slowbro, but Slowbro takes a turn from Adamant Earthquake. Slowbro might get tweet cured. Yeah. So even a Life of Mammy, Life of Mammy, a Choice Bandit Mammy, or even a Metronome Mammy will just sit on stall. Manafi is one of the best stall breaker right now. Tail Glow, Tail Glow, Rest, Rain Dance, Surf, or even in Rain Teams, Tail Glow, Surf, Ice Beam, Rest. Yep. You, they can't be, you can't. They can't stare as you cause of hydration. So yeah, mana fee. Nido Queen. One of the, I think this should be Nido King. Why Nido Queen? This should be I this should be Nido King. Or did I did I okay I've already listed out Nido King. So yeah. Nido Queen. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Nido Queen is no joke. Nido King will cheat on stall. But let's see one thing. Oh, it has focus punch? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I will I am telling you, I will destroy stall with Nido Queen. Same thing, same move pool, same ability, just a less special attack. Yeah, but still, whatever Nido King does, Nido Queen does almost the same. My, I think Nido King just gets those one hit chaos, but Nido, like, let's say Nido King Oko's a Zapdos with Ice Beam. But Nido Queen will not Oko, but it will two hit chaos. It will do like 85%. And Zapdos can't Oko Nido Queen back. And Zapdos generally don't have that much speed, so yeah. Nido Queen is a really good wall breaker. Then we have. Porygon 2, given the limited walls and mons in BDSP, Porygon 2, Choice Specs, Adaptability, Try Attack. Yep, no joke. Yep. Star Raptor, oh my god, this mon is just going rampage and stall nowadays. Star Raptor, Magnezone. Trap the Scum, and then there is no Brave Bird switch in. Trap the Steel type, Trap the Scum, there is no Brave Bird switch in the entire tier. You go to your Heat Red, they're gonna close combat the hell out of you. So, Choice Bandit, Brave Bird, no switch in. You go to your Gliscord, Gliscord will drop to a reckless brave bird no switch in and you might be laughing why do you have a zangus you might be laughing but when zangus you run a stall team and when you ran into a zangus you will shiver you will i'm telling you you will shiver when you ran into this one toxic of toxic boost facade close com it has close combat facade close combat and nice slash and jab this is all you need and you're laughing right now after you run into one zangus with your stall team or your balanced fat team when it just destroys your wall then you say yeah that day I laughed on blim and then i remembered blim's video blim had said that zangus was a very good wall breaker so yeah zangus is a really good option if you want to try something out of the ordinary try zangus it's a really good stall breaking option so these are the current wall breakers stall breakers in the game right now yep now we all love fat teams. We all love stall teams. These are the stall options which you have right now in BDSP OU tier. Yep. If you want to build a stall team, so yep, mostly we'll pick from these ones. Like if you randomly pick six months out of this box right here, you will get a stall team. Yeah. If you randomly pick six months out of this box, you will you will get a stall breaking team. So yeah, Gliscor, Toxic of Blues, Defox, Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Source Dance, Facade, yep. Hip Power Done, same thing. <coughs> Sableye, like Sableye is not the best stall option, but still it has access to Prankster, Recover, Will-O-Wisp. Mega Sableye was a stall staple, but still you can try Sableye. Skarmory, Physical Wall, Stall Breaking, I mean Stall Staple. Defox, Spikes, Roost, Stealth Rocks, Whirlwind, yep, Skarmory Stall Staple. Titar, Special Wall, Special Tank, Stall Staple. Unaware Clip, even Magicka Clip, Stall Staple. Quaggy, Stall Staple. Quaggy has, is one of the few mods who has access to Toxic. Unaware Toxic, Quaggy with Recover, Stall Staple. Blissey has actually Toxic, Blissey, Stall Staple. Bronzong, yep, as I said, Bronzong checks a lot of stuff because of Levitate and this amazing typing. Bronzong is one of the few checks to Mamoswine. A good, really good check to Garchomp. Yeah, Toxic, Protect, Earthquake, Gyro Ball, yep, you destroy Garchomp. Fortress, Stall Staple. Heatran is one of the very good stall, like stall, anti-stall. If you face, you are using stall and you face stall team, so Heatran will be your anti-stall core. Jirachi, Stealth Rocks, Wish, U-Turn, Protect Stuff, blah blah blah, Stall, Mon, yeah. 
yeah, Caesar, Caesar, uh, SD, Bullet Punch, U Turn, Roost, yep, Stall Staple. Ditto is a really good stall mod. Yep, all the best of the best stall, stall, stall players know how good Ditto is a stall. Choice Scarf, prevent the setup. Like, if you have a Ditto on your stall team, the opponent will think twice before setting up because you might reverse sweep them with your Ditto. So, yep, Ditto, Gastron, one of stall staples. Yep, recover, recover, scald, earth power and stuff. Empoleon, it's gonna be a stall staple as well. D Fox, Tail Rock, Skull, Roar, Ice Beam, a really nice option. Latios is one of the stall. I mean, this is one of the breakers in a stall team. Combine, recover, psychic, ice beam, dragon pulse, Draco, Thunderbolt, yep. One of the few breakers on stall teams. Then Mantine. Mantine is a really good stall breaking option because it has access to haze. Haze, skull, ruse, toxic and stuff, yep. Slow King, a really good special wall which has access to regenerator, slack off, ice beam, skull, T wave and stuff. Slow bro, one of the best Gliscord checks in the game right now. Still slow bro, one of the best guard chomp checks in the game right now. Slack off, ice beam, skull, try to burn it, try to kill it off with ice beam. One of the best mammoth swine checks. Slow bro, you will do slow bro things. Snorlax, the fat, curse wall in, stall, special curse wall in stall. Yeah, after it sets up a curse, it will be both a mixed wall, a physical wall and a special wall as well. So we have blacks. Then we have Suicune, one more very annoying precious tall one. Crow Coon, Wind Coon, Rest Talk Coon, Protect sub Substitute Coon, yep, very annoying one. And then we have Zapdos, one of the best defogas in stall teams with pressure. Yeah, stall teams generate and pressure to PP stall. So defog, roost, and stuff, yep. So this is a short image, or not a short image, this is what you're gonna be expecting for most stall teams, yep. And they might pair up, pair it up with a Magnezone, yeah. And now, Let's have a look at the few trick room. Yeah, I have seen a lot of trick room running around. So these are the trick room setters and trick room users or trick room abusers in the tier currently. Bronze Long, trick room explosion, Cresselia or rocks as well. Cresselia, trick room lunar dance, Gardevoir, a really good trick room option. Trick room healing wish, Mesprit, trick room healing wish, Mew, trick room explosion, stealth rocks, uh, <coughs> Uxi, trick room stealth rocks, Memento. Yep. Zar 2, one of the few mons which has access to teleport and trick room and roost as well. Trick room, teleport, Porygon 2. There is no Evalite in the game right now, but still, Porygon 2 has really good bulk, so you can trick room and switch out. Then we have Duxnoir, you have trick room, Memento, and now these are the trick room users. Now the trick room abusers, Crawdon, still continues to be one of the best trick room abusers in the game right now. SD, Crab Hammer, Knockoff with adaptability, liquid, I'm mean, not liquidation, Crab Hammer, Knockoff. Oh, even a few waterfall running around so yeah azu one of the best trick room options in the tier right now choice bandit azu with waterfall played off yeah it's a really good trick room option then agron why agron there are not a lot of options but you can use agron there is no male metal but agron is a like a poor man's male metal because it has access to rocket and it has access to rocket head machine trick, trick room life orb rocket Heavy slam. Oh, this I think this is gonna be a trick room staple right now. I think this is gonna be a with with no male metal in the trick room teams. I think this is gonna be a trick room staple. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Agron is really really good trick room. We do not have Alola whack, but we have a cheap whack. We have the cheap whack, but still, thick club, earthquake, and stone age will hit regardless. Will hit super hard. We have Camera Up. Camera Up has a really good special attacking stat and the best thing is the move pool. Camera Up has a really good typing and move pool. Like Fire Ground is not registered by a lot. Fire Ground will obliterate mo mainly most things. We have access to Fire Blush and Earth Power so it's a really strong one. Then we have Explode. Yep. Choice Specs, Boom Bust and you can run Life Up, Boom, Life Up, Explode in Trick Rooms. Life Up like Boom Bust, Sir, Fire Blast and Focus Blast in Trick Room. Really good option. Hariyama. Yeah, Hariyama has a really good high attacking stat so there are not a lot of there are not a lot of options guys but yeah you have to manage with whatever is there you can run hariyama let's see hariyama's move pool once i haven't checked this one out yet i will use hariyama on trick room it has access, of course close combat it has access to earthquake do you get oh it has access to knock off oh my god hariyama you have oh bulk up i don't think you need bulk up because hariyama has 120 attacking stat and it has a really less speed you think you can run bullet punch yep Hariyama is a really really nice trick room option. Then we have our boy Medi. Medi can be an amazing trick room option because of pure power and life orb. 
then you just use high jump kick bullet punch zen headbutt fire punch screw bullet punch ice punch yep it's gonna just shit on shit on teams you run medicham on trick room it's gonna destroy teams and always run this negative speed zero speed ivs and adamant it has double attacking stat 240 480 attack in trick room no joke no joke it will just destroy teams destroy destroy teams then we have torkoal torkoal is has is was turning out to be one of the best trick room mons in ssou but now torkoal has access to eruption torkoal is heat trend doesn't have eruption but torkoal has so eruption earth or oh, uh, eruption solar beam uh fire blast and maybe ancient power or sludge bomb yep i think this will be a very fine set nonetheless torkoal eruption under yeah torkoal eruption and draw yep draw eruption with specs no joke no freaking joke torkoal was turning out to be one of the best trick room abusers but now and then we have like cheetah is a really good trick room option right now stone edge earthquake don't have ice ice punch or fire punch so ice fang and crunch with adam and trick room yep this will be your trick room set so these are so these are your trick room users and abusers in the tier right now the trick room users and abusers in the tier so yep and lastly while building you there are some threats which you have to keep in mind while team building the most important advice the most important advice there are some threats which you have to keep in mind while building always so i have listed out the threats <clears throat> which you always have to keep in mind while building a team like you need to have a check or a counter for this or else you're gonna lose and guard chomp sd chomp keep something for sd chomp like what check sd chomp what checks sd chomp like uh like as i was saying bronze zone is a really good check slow bro is an amazing check for sd chomp there are not a lot clef 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 is a really nice check for sd chomp scar money glitch card yep then we have Gengar, Titar is a Gengar check. There is Titar, there is Gastrodon, and mm, uh, what was I using? Uh, there is Polygon 2. Polygon 2 will get destroyed by a plus 2 focus blast. There is Blissey, yeah. So, yeah, there are a few Gengar checks out there Blissey, like Titar and stuff. There is Gengar checks. Tojak is not a lot of checks for Tojak is because it will finish everything down. But yeah, still, if you want to try, try Zapdos, like try Titar, Zapdos, and stuff, yeah. Blaziken, yeah, Blaziken is a huge threat in the tier, so I have seen a lot of teams running slow bro only for Blaziken. Yeah, Blaziken, I have seen Fizz Dev Gliscors for Blaziken. So, yeah, Blaziken is a huge threat in the tier right now. So, yeah, and I have seen also seen Guard Chomps, Tank Chomp for Blaziken. So, yeah. Then, yeah, keep a Breloom check. Breloom is running in around 90% of the teams, and Technician, Bullet Seed, Mark Punch, Spore, and Rock Tomb. It's hit super hard, super hard. Breloom checks not a lot out there not a lot out there so what are the mons which check breloom let's have a quick look let's have a quick look mons which check breloom not a lot of mons out there but uh you can try like tang growth i was using tang growth to check breloom which was not very successful but still it was working out you can run d to check breloom yeah d is a really good breloom option you can run sleep talk latias sleep talk latias latios for breloom so yeah not a lot of options but you have to manage whatever is there you have to manage so breloom is turning out to a potent potent threat yeah sleep talk latios latios you can try but yeah breloom is a giant threat not a lot of options out there so yeah and yeah i was using zatu i was using a, a fist depth zatu to check breloom tang i mean crawdon same crawdon is a giant giant threat in bdsp ou yeah you have to always keep in mind you might if you face a crawdon it's gonna like if you're running fair balance teams every time crawdon comes in you have to pick something either run a fast one if you want to like counter keep going counter killing crawdon kills one you throw it out and you kill something yeah so run something but if you want a really good crawdon check run tangroth run tangroth tangroth is one of the best crawdon checks right now yeah so run tangroth not a lot of checks out there Skarmory will get tweet killed by crab hammer so yeah Skarmory is not a very good crawdon check but tangroth is the best crawdon check in the game right now azus samely same similarly so you have to run like uh, Tang or like Tang or maybe a Fizz Depth Gastron. Empoleon is a really good Azul check. 
because he doesn't get super power it has access to brick break and caesar as well caesar is checking azu fist up caesar is checking azu so yeah and then we have cloister cloister is a big threat to the game i have forgot to add azu let's add azu let's add azu let's add azu so azu is a really big threat to the tier right now as i said like tangro checks azu fish depth cluster can check azu but fish depth cluster who runs uh and nine there is an, a, a fish depth mu maybe can check azu fish depth mu skarmory can check azu so yeah not a not a lot of azu checks in the tier right now but you have to manage then cluster yeah keep something for cluster because cluster will do cluster things keep a bulky steel type like an empoleon or like a bronze song or like a uh azu can check cluster to a bit tangrowth also can take a unboosted icicle spear but yeah cluster will of course help smash so yeah it can be a threat or maybe run like a whirlwind scarm so yeah heat trend you have to keep a heat trend check because heat trend will do heat trend things gonna magma storm taunt heat trend whatever whatever it was doing in ss is gonna do the same thing in bdsp it's gonna do the same thing magma storm taunt talks it doesn't have toxic magma storm taunt earth power and protect yeah and it's gonna just shit on your teams yeah D knight, yeah, you have to keep a check for D knight. Dragon dance, earthquake, dragon claw, roost. Yep, keep a D knight check. Gliscor, as I said, you have to keep a Gliscor check as well because hundred percent of the teams, not hundred ninety nine percent of teams are running Gliscor. Uh, most sets you will find is SD, earthquake, facade, and roost. There are a few. I have seen a few U turn, U turn Gliscors, but U turn Gliscor is shit. Either an D fog or an SD or an like stealth rocks. So Gliscor is a really big threat to the tier right now. You have to keep an infernape check. Yeah. And of course, the specs Larty was check again. So like in black and white, there was no switching to specs Larty. Here we have a few switches like Titar will switch into specs Larty two or three times. Bronzong will switch into specs Larty because Larty doesn't get mystical fire right now. So yeah, run a very good steel type for Larty was. And then we have like a must have check, must have must have check for Manafi. If you don't have a Manafi check, you are gonna lose basically. Yeah, so keep a Manafi check as well. <clears throat> because manafi is a huge threat to the tier right now yeah it will tail glow you you are thinking to status manafi you can't even status manafi because under rain does is a hydration and it will cure itself off not just cure it will just heal itself up to full let's say that you toxic manafi with a blissy you made it at 50 percent it's gonna rain dance it's gonna rest and it's gonna free get free of status and it's gonna be back at full and then you lose one v one with your blissy so keep something for manafi as well and then mu a lot of mu is running around nasty plot sd mu so keep something for mu and as i have discussed about azu as well so these are the threats and checks to keep in mind while team building yep so always be sure to keep a check out for these months while team building so let's narrow it down a bit we have the image of the ssou tier this is what the, not sorry ssou i'm still stuck in ssou the bdsp ou tier the bdsp ou tier is going to look like this after it gets narrowed down and gets like finalized then we have the hazard status here then we have our hazard removal mons if you are running weather teams these are your weather options this is a rain option this is your sun option this is your sand option this is your hail option and now the wall breakers the anti-stall mons in the tier so these are your anti-stall mons in the tier right now these are your stall mons or the utility mons in the tier like yeah tanks tanks hazard setters toxicers all this stuff then we have our trick room setters and then we have mons to watch out for while team building and yep now how to team build how to team build open my guide pick a mon from first things what teams you're gonna build open the guide yeah think what teams you're gonna build now first let's try with hyper offense teams i am gonna be building a hyper offense teams from this slot itself firstly hyper offense equals stealth rocks as i said first we move on to our hazard setters yeah what are the hazard status which we have yeah we have for eye problems we have aerodactyl we have azelf we have mew we have like an explosion fortress maybe yeah we have uh we have shuckle we have scams we have smear girl yep or we have memo so out of all this i will pick one hazard setter turn one done i got my hazard setter for my ho team now i will go on to my sweepers or breakers let me move on to my breakers wall breakers or sweepers yep now let's start picking from here okay first i might use a gengar i might use a manafi if i want to break stuff early i will use a maybe a belly drum azu or a choice bandit azu i might use tojakis i might use blizzy ken 
I might use uh, after my set of hazards. I wanna like give a second lead breloom for spore, SD, mark punch, bullet seed stuff, or even rock tomb. So yeah, I will pick my wall breakers from here, and my HO team is kind of done. Now, if I wanna build a balanced team, so if I wanna build a balanced team, what I will do again? I will go to my hazard setters now. From here, I will pick my balanced hazard setter, which can be like a Blissey or a Garchomp or a Gliscor or a Meta or a Steelix or a Nido Queen or a Rhyperior or a Titar or a Pert or a Jirachi pick one hazard setter now I will go to my removal I will pick a good very good removal which like which like counteracts my hazard setter so let's see if I pick Gliscor for hazard setter I will pick some other typing or some other bonus removal Gliscor is weak to ice, ice right so maybe then um, I pick Empoleon like Empoleon and Gliscor which synergizes very well Empoleon resists all of Gliscor's weaknesses Empoleon kind of resists so yeah I might pick Empoleon as a defogger and now let's pick the fat ones I might use a uh, like a uh, uh, where is my yeah tanks and basics I will use some fat tanks like a Gliscor I will use like a Gliscor use like a Blissey use like a Caesar I will use like a Gastron I will use like an Empoleon so this will be my cores and tanks and now I will keep some few I will keep maybe one or two wall breakers maybe a Gengar and a Bandit Titar combo which was really well I was using Bandit Titar and Nido King combo which was working just awesome I might use an SD Chomp and a Bandit Azu combo which was doing really well so yeah this is how you build a balanced team and for stall teams you pick one hazard setter up pick one hazard setter you now go to the stall section go to the walls and tank section and pick your five stall ones pick your five stall ones from here and you are good to go with the stall team as well so yep so i have narrowed down the list and i have like yeah, assembled everything no bullshit talk no bullshit just simple cut to the chase talk how to build what to expect what not to expect so this is going to be a glimpse of the bdspou tier how to start team building so as i explained pick something think like what are you weak against don't have a lot of same typings on the team have multiple time picks on the team have your rockers have your breakers always use breakers have your cores as well have your strong defensive core first start start step one of building step one step one of building start with a setter or removal start with this then first build your defensive core first build your defensive core and then end it up with offensive core or even the vice versa start with the offensive core then the defensive core then move on to your hazards removers and hazard setters so yep and you're going to be landing up with a very perfect team so this is going to be it for today guys blames cut to the chase no bullshit bd spou first team building guide now you're going to be expecting a lot of videos for you have some serious climbing a lot of heat stuff as well a lot of this and that as well yeah all serious content no joke serious content yep so guys yep this is the ultimate no trash talk the perfect team building guide from an ou player one of the best ou player them himself one of i'm one of the best sso i'm not so i'm one of the best ou players in the game right now so this is the this is the only team building guide you need this is the only team building guide you need to build a perfect team from an sso player if yeah from an sou player by an sou player and if i if i want to build a team i would follow this team building guide and i would look at nothing else so this is the ultimate team building guide which you need no bullshit no crap nothing just cut to the chest team building guide so yep guys this is going to be it a team building guide from uh from an ou mainer from a tournament winner yep so yep this is going to be it for today guys so guys we're on the road to 5k if you find this team building guide useful feel free to like drop a like in the video and drop a sub as well it helps me out a lot and most importantly guys stay safe guys a lot of bdsp heat heat content not just heat but serious laddering content i said i'm going to be taking you all of you guys in the top 10 of bdsp when the tears settle down a bit we are going to be doing top 10s we are going to be doing live team building sessions this was a team building guide this is not a team building video this is a team building guide how to start team building what to expect and what not to expect now now team building team building that i will do in later bits because we will be building teams as well we'll be building offensive teams we will we'll, we'll be building balanced teams we will be building stall teams yep a lot of stuff we will be doing a lot of stuff we'll be having a lot of fun guys so head over to my channel hit the sub button guys and most importantly guys stay safe guys bye bye guys peace out